morning beautiful souls tim wild happy monday meditation monday and um as you can see with each video i'm getting progressively more kind of winterized and uh although it's only seven degrees above freezing here that's cold enough for me as all of, all of the the finnish and the swedish and and all of the other colder countries will probably be laughing at me and still sat outside in their t sat outside in your t-shirts but hey ho it's quite chilly it's a beautiful morning but it's quite chilly and i want to talk a little bit about the storm lair that merlin created in the lion's gate in the summer of 2019 because um there's a lot of comments and information coming in from the various groups of us working out in the energy field at the moment that there is a lot of fear and and kind of anguish and imbalances being kind of dumped into the into the general field for clearing now in some of you might have heard the story some of you might wonder what on earth i'm talking about but there was a storm lair established around our planet um if if you kind of visualize the 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 solid ground that we are stood on and the clouds above the storm layer exists in between and it works a little bit like a vacuum or kind of like a cyclonic washing machine and the design of it was very specific and created in order to remove all of the excess energies that are being released by the shift that we are experiencing and <clears throat> literally sucked into this storm layer to be alchemized. Now, when Merlin created this storm layer, um, or was part of the team that created the storm layer during the Lion's Gate in 2019. Now, the Lion's Gate is the period in August that you've heard me might have heard me talking about before. The the design of this, the the, the storm layer was created to last for three years. Okay, Merlin indicated to me that it would exist working at a very powerful level for the first two years and then for the third year it would be starting to kind of wind down its activities because there wouldn't be quite so much negativity or low frequency vibrations to actually have to alchemize in the first place so i was guided this morning to basically tell everybody who is feeling this um intense kind of burden of energies which is is not something that we we can kind of dodge too much at the moment but the trick is to rise above it okay as i've been saying all year if you want to stay in a place of alignment if you want to stay in a state of peace and harmony despite what is going on despite the kind of the gravity and the intensity of the shifts and you raise your frequency and rise above it now I was introduced to the storm layer when when Merlin activated it because I woke up I think this is a morning in August and I was due to go to Diana Cooper's up in Horsham and run a zoom with her like you know working shoulder to shoulder and I felt so dizzy and so disorientated by the energies that were coming in that I actually had to pull over in the car and speak to Merlin on my drive up and say look what's going on I can't I can't work I can't function in this state it been going on all year and he said well you've because of the way that you are thinking and the way you are vibrating at the moment you are vibrating at the same frequency as the etheric storm layer and you're being whirled around your fields are whirling your mental and your emotional bodies are not stable okay so you're going to feel dizzy you're going to feel disorientated and i said to him well how do i how do i how do i navigate that you know if this is very powerful layer of energy around the planet and when we're basically in it how, how do i not get kind of sucked into this cyclone effect and he said very easy and this is this is the walking meditation this morning so close your eyes and if you're feeling overburdened if you're feeling you know the way that i've just described you kind of you're waking up you feel like everybody else's energies in your field so you're feeling the the kind of the the, the 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 general fear or uncertainty out there close your eyes take a couple of deep breaths and as you're breathing in breathe into your heart chakra and feel it expanding so take another deep breath breathe in and immediately feel your heart lighting up 
Take a third deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just feel everything around you, your thoughts, the, emo the maybe the spin of your emotional body, your mental body, just becoming still, quiet, silent, and in alignment with your heart chakra. Just take another deep breath in. And as you're breathing out, just imagine that you have a balloon or a bunch of balloons in your hand. And this balloon is beginning to bring your feet off the ground. Okay, so holding your balloon, your body is now weightless. Start to feel your feet leaving the ground ever so gently and you're now beginning to rise. Holding this balloon, as you're rising from the floor, you are passing up through the 3D levels of the, the chaotic energy, the change, the fear, the uncertainty. Moving up further now, you're moving through the 4D layer, the very fast moving layer of change. And your balloon is getting bigger now, it is and you're starting to rise faster and faster. Moving up into the layer of the fifth dimensional energy. And as you touch the fifth dimensional energy, you might even still see your feet dangling in fourth. Make them rise up a little bit further. Just feel yourself come to a stop and you are now in a fifth dimensional vibration. Take a deep breath in and as you're breathing out, just be aware of what is going on below you. You can see the turbulence, you can see the movement, but where you are at this precise moment in time, it's still, it's peaceful. There is golden energy all around you. You might even imagine yourself in a scenario where we have already moved into the fifth dimensional future that we are creating. Around you there are peaceful communities, there are people at peace and with the light in their hearts and the light within their energy fields. Everything is calm, everyone is smiling, everyone is joyful and just imagine yourself just residing in this energy bandwidth, in this picture, in this scenario. All you've had to do is grab your balloon and rise above all the turbulence. And you may not want to stop there, you might want to go up a little bit further. So just allow your balloon to take you up above fifth, rising up through the sixth dimension, another transitional window from 6D to 7D. And allow your balloon to take you into the frequencies of the seventh dimension. Now this is an angelic space, this is an angelic frequency. All around you is pure, radiant, diamond, rainbow and golden light and just allow yourself to reside here for a few moments you might be approached by a dragon or a unicorn or an archangel at this point if they've got a message for you just allow them to pass it over And then continue to rise a bit further if you want. Moving up from the seventh dimension, you're carrying all of this light now everywhere, every, every layer that you move through, you take this beautiful high frequency energy on. Moving up through the transitional 8D, and then into ninth. And allow yourself to stabilize here at ninth for a few moments. Now the ninth dimension is the vibration that Archangel Metatron and the very high frequency souls that are directing the ascension process on this planet reside. In my experience, it is pure gold. So allow yourself to now be surrounded by this pure, bright golden light. Feel it lighting up every cell of your body. Feel it lighting up your chakras. 
feel it filling you physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. Even your balloon is gold. And just regenerate here for a few moments. You can stay here for as long as you wish. But if like me, you've got to work in physical, just allow your balloon now to just start to bring you back down. Back through ninth, eighth, seventh, sixth, and stop at fifth, okay? So feel yourself now stabilizing in a fifth dimensional vibration. Doesn't matter what's going on around you. Doesn't matter what the TV screen of the physical reality is showing you. Your vibration is fifth dimensional. Hold it there. Ask your earth star to set this frequency for you. And just be, it, be in stillness, be in peace. Breathe that peace into your lungs now, one last time. Breathe into your heart center. And breathe out. Okay, so you can do that whenever you want. Okay, you could be you could be you could be driving somewhere. You could be walking down the road. You just um, ask Merlin to activate the balloon for you and float above all of the turbulence and particularly the storm layer. The storm layer is highly active at the moment. Okay, the storm layer will be highly active until the the Lion's Gate this coming summer. Okay, so we've got we've got we're we're in October now. We're going to be going through November and the big the big shift in December, and then January and February onwards like that. The storm layer is still going to be there to bring all of this this change, all all of the frequencies that are being kind of dumped, being released, being removed from the 3D matrix. They are all going into the storm layer. So please make sure that if you are feeling overburdened by this, that you rise above it. Okay, simple and effective. Sending you all lots of love. Hope you have a brilliant start to the week. And for those of you joining David and I for the renewal cross tonight, we're going to have a beautiful night in store for you. Bye for now.